Hello guys, I'm Karstnist, and welcome to a new series. This is going to be Mind-Z, and I'm going to go through all these signs, so if you want to skip this intro thing, <laughs> click the annotation, that'll be like right where the crosshairs is. Alright, there you go. It'll be there for a few seconds, so click it if you want to skip this, or just watch to see all that all these signs have to offer. All right, so first of all, food is very important as each piece of food restores half a heart and region from a full hunger bar is disabled. It is hard to find food, so food should be your number one priority. Zombies and players make this world very dangerous. You're going to need to find gear so you can face the threats around you and have any chance of survival. Snowballs will save your life. Use them to distract zombies so you can make your escape or to lure a horde towards your worst enemy. Headshots will do more damage to zombies, however, bows make a lot of noise when they hit, be careful. Arrows are limited to 15 in a stack, aim true. Health potions are the most effective way to get health, you can find them in a few places near the coast. Stock up before you head into the dangerous north. Diamond got your attention, inventory management is vital to your survival. Most items do not stack, you won't be finding any of these beauties out there. Oh, no diamonds. Zombies, run faster, think smarter, hoard bigger, hit harder, smell uglier. Overall, they will kill you. There are rumors of even stronger foes up north. Ender pearls act as grenades. Throwing one will cause it to explode on impact. Be cautious as the sound of the explosion will attract zombies to your location. Use shears with a bandage to heal others. You can use ointments as well to make healing more effective. Red ointment for extra heal. Green to cure infection. Some graves can be dug up with an iron shovel. Look for graves like the one below using your shovel. Break the mossy cobblestone and see what you dig up. Rest in peace, John Smith. I wonder if that's a Doctor Who reference. Alright, if a person has a red name, that means they're a bandit, and that means they have killed six players or more. And if they have a green name, that means they are a healer, and they have healed 16 players or more. Alright. The sword will probably save your life many times. Always handle it with the utmost respect. The axe has a large swing and can hit groups of zombies. Crouch to swing hard enough to hit multiple zombies. Consuming sugar will give you a temporary speed boost. Use it wisely because after it wears off, you will become inflicted with fatigue for a few seconds. When you take damage, you might start bleeding. While bleeding, you slowly take damage. Use a bandage to stop the bleeding or for extra heal. If you are more than 250 meter, m meters from a player, you can't hear them and they can't hear you. A meter is one block, I, I'm pretty sure. If you hold an ender eye, you can talk with anyone else who is holding an ender eye. Rumors of a disease that is contracted by a zombie bite have spread, though no one can confirm it. If the rumor is to be believed, milk is the only cure. Many items have to be crafted. This includes the best types of food. However, crafting tables are not found everywhere. Make careful decisions on what you carry. Your experience level is your th current thirst level. Carry lots of water. You can die from dehydration. Empty water bottles can be refilled from a water source. Your experience bar is your visibility to zombies. Depending on how you move, you are more visible. Nighttime and rain lower your visibility slightly. Loot chests are the source of everything you will need for survival. They can be found in towns and, ru and in ruins. Better loot can be found by heading towards the north. Weapons are found around the world. Wood and basic iron can be found near the coast. The best gear is found by heading into the dangerous northern part of the map. A hoe allows harvesting of wheat, melon, and mushroom. You can open iron doors with a boat and don't get trapped. Use shovels to break cobwebs and cacti and to dig up graves. Alright, so, this is that little, uh, intro thing, so, here we go, slash MindZ spawn, this is how you, uh, enter the game, or there's a sign all the way over there that'll tell you how to enter it, so you can just right click that also, but I like doing the chat command, and here we are into the world of MindZ, it is raining, and here we go. So, I'm gonna follow this road, it looks like there's some fence over there, which... It just means a bridge. Never mind, I'm not going over there, I'm going this way. Hang on, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. I think that rain is a little bit too loud. I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack, by the way. This will probably be the one I'm using this series. Uh, if you want more Minecraft, uh, annotation will be in the upper left corner of the screen for my Minecraft Survival series. I've just done some, I just finished a goal, spoiler alert, probably shouldn't have said that, but whatever. So, click the annotation, top left to 
watch the first episode. And, yeah. Apparently somebody has personal fondness for Shakespeare. Good for him. Other gamers, family, <laughs> man or... Alright, we got some round flesh, another water bottle, and some cocoa beans. Alright. Hang on. Well, that's stupid. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's the church. Oh, goodness. Zombies. No. Zombies are very dangerous, and we got health potions. This is one of the... The church in uh, this... Area is one of the... Is actually the only place I know that has health potions. There, I'm sure there are more, but... If you need health potions, this is the place to look for them. Bow, wheat, and melon. Ah! No! No, die! Oh no, this is not good! Not good! I'm gonna use one of those health potions. Yep. Mm -hmm. That only heal two. Oh no! No, 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 that was so stupid. Stupid zombies. Why'd you do that to me? That's rude. Did angel parents ever teach you manners? Of course I did. They said to eat everybody's brains. Alright, don't listen to your parents. If that's what they tell you to do. Because eating people's brains are not good, zombies. Stupid zombies, man. But seriously, though, kids, listen to your parents. Alright. Um, oh, huh. They have regen. Then we got an antidote. That's good. Okay, I guess just that one has. Or maybe just the one that I just looked in isn't. Oh, the rain stopped. Oh, well. That zombie? Oh, that's just flowers. Suddenly daytime. <laughs> Alright. Got some more armor. I like combining whatever I get to save inventory space and to repair or anything that I have used. Or have not used, but they have been given uh, lower durability on purpose. Michael Chat Family Manor. I think it just picks random gamer's name for these signs. Or maybe there are actually people who, uh, not going over there. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Well, that's good, but I could use a, uh, brown mushroom. You stink, zombie, I'm going to kill you. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. You big, fat, ugly zombie, you. Alright. Alright, we got some arrows, so if we get a bow, I can use that. Let's continue. More cocoa beans. Sweet. So, if you guys don't know, this is basically DayZ in Minecraft. If you don't know what DayZ is, it originally started out as a mod for the... I guess it's a military shooter game called Arma 2. And they made a zombie survival mod for that game. And it was... Critically acclaimed, if I remember right. Everybody loved it. And they recently made a standalone version. And before the standalone version, they made. People made multiple types of uh, versions of the game for Minecraft. And we got a wooden hoe so we can mine. How did you hear me? That is stupid. Die. 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 I got a stone sword, ha, huh? in your face, stupid zombie. Alright, we've killed seven zombies to this life. Nice. Getting a lot of cocoa beans. I could use some wheat so I can make some cookies. Because that would actually be useful. I have all this rotten flesh. Useless. Oh, sweet. The chest and the church should regenerate more healing potions. Why can't you guys leave me alone? 
You all are fat. You stupid zombies. All right, let's get these health potions. Ugh, stupid rotten flesh. Give me that go-go beans. Don't want that stupid rotten flesh. Actually, I should probably just like throw it. That way, this can actually regenerate because the chests won't restock if there are things in it. Apples. Uh, I don't like those zombies. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. me alone. Ha! <laughs> stupid! You're so stupid! Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Alright, let's drink this. There we go. I drink a lot of stuff right there. All right, don't want that round flesh, you. All right. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoy the first episode of Mindzox. You ruined my outro, zombie. Before that, you shall die. There you go. All right, I'm gonna loot this chest really quick. And if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. Uh, it'd be very much appreciated, and it lets me know that you would like more of this series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.